بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about retrobertonial compartments The retrobertonial space is a space bounded anteriorly by posterior parietal peritoneum, as we see here, and uh, posteriorly by transversal fascia. And it, it is extended from the pelvic brim inferiorly to the diaphragm superiorly. Here you see the peritoneal cavity, and posterior to the peritoneal cavity, the retroperitoneal space. As you see here, this is the retroperitoneal space and this is the posterior parietal peritoneum. And these are the posterior transverse fascia and it contains three layers, three spaces as we will discuss. The retroperitoneum can be separated into three compartments anterior bararenal space, posterior bararenal space, and the perirenal space by the anterior and posterior renal fascia and lateral coronal fascia. As you see here, this is the CT scan at the level of the kidneys with visualization of the anterior perirenal fascia and the lateral coronal fascia and part of the posterior renal fascia seen. One to two millimeter thickness of the renal fascia. If it is more than this, it will be pathological. The anterior bararenal space, as we see in the pink color, it contains pancreas, ascending colon, descending colon, and second, part, second and third part of duodenum. The perirenal space in green color, it, it contains the kidney, the proximal ureters, and adrenal glands, a lot of fat and network of small vessels, nerves, and lymphatics. The posterior bararenal space in violet color, it, it is contain only fat and it is a potential space and it is involved in the money of the uh, inflammatory processes. Interfacial glands, the retroperitoneal fascia is composed of multiple potential expensile discrete facial glands that represent fused leaves of the embryonic mesentery. These potential glands serve as reservoir for decomposition of rapidly accumulating retroperitoneal fluid or gas or act as a conduit for spread of infiltrating neoplasm and inflammatory tissue. We can classify the retroperitoneal interfacial planes into four parts, anterior interfacial retroperitoneal plane, posterior interfacial retroperitoneal plane, lateral coronal interfacial brain and combined interfacial brain. Anterior interfacial retromesentric brain, as you see it in green color, it is across the midline and it is an expansile brain located between the anterior bararenal space and the perirenal space. Posterior interfacial retroperitoneal brain, as we see it in yellow color, and it is between the perirenal space and the posterior perirenal space, and it is across the midline. Lateral coronal interfacial plane, as it is between the layers of the lateral coronal fascia, and it communicates with the retromesentric brain, retrorenal brain, and at the facial trifurcation. Combined interfacial brain 
it is formed by inferior blending of retromosome tricheblain and retrorenal blain. It communicates, it continues into the pelvis. The facial trifurcation, it is the point where the retromesentric plane, retrorenal plane, and lateral coronal fascia communicate mutually, as seen in this picture. Medial extension of interfacial plane, as we said, the retromesentric plane and the retrorenal plane are extended to cross the midline. Right superior extension. The superior perirenal space is continuity with the bear area of the liver, as we see here in this section. Left superior extension, with anterior retromesentric plane, Posterior retrorenal plane and perirenal space on the left side extended to the left hemideriform as we see in this picture. Thank you very much. Hoping you see you again soon.